second referee, Mr. Hoven Raselis. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Savage Aesthetics Spin Doctors. Let's begin with our team captain, who wears jersey number two, Lawrence Senoron. At number one, Sherwin Caritativo. Wearing jersey number three, Charlie Magpayo. At number 19, John Daniel Diwa. Number 21 is Al Nasim Amil Bahar. And number 23, Ray Taneo. Starting libero is number five, Rico Marius Marmeto. Head coach, Mr. Sinfronio, Coach Sammy Akailar. Presenting our Richmark Sports 3D Elite Spikers. Let's begin with jersey number three, Gideon James Guadalupe. At number 13, Bonjomar Castell. Wearing jersey number 15, Curl Rosette. Number 17, Colonel Ipulan. At number 18, Mel Clarence de Guzman. And at number 21, R.G. Dacles. Starting libero is our team captain with jersey number two, Carlo Almario. And coach, Mr. R.J. Francisco. This is match number 25. Welcome to Savage versus Richmark Sports in our Spikers Third Open Conference. So for Savage, we're seeing a lot of familiar names. Lauren Senoron, we did talk about him scoring in double figures in the previous outing. He gets the start alongside Chawi Caritativo, Charlie Magbay, among others. On the other end, Curl Rosette is back. That's a good sign for RMS after missing out in the previous game because of work. He was a part of our Philippine Navy. We all know Kochoni how important he is as an attacker for our miss. I think he missed about two to three games at least because when I covered the match, he was also not around. And he was very well on the well on the flip side. Coach Sandra Kaidar, as we discussed earlier during the pregame, has mixed in matches roster, trying to find the right combination. At sabi nga sa akin, babalik siya sa dati nilang rotation. And let's see what games. First of all, just they chase down one of... Uh, Probably the last remaining spot in the semis dahil outside looking in nga sila, yun ang binabanggit ko kanina. Nasa pang limang pwesto, tanging apat lama ang tatawin sa final four. But the top four so far looking really good. Signal, Navy, Chris Cross, and Ilo Ilo. It's just Signal wow. who's undefeated and all the other three have one loss so far. There's only. Bonch Castell. Yes, yeah. just one loss only. And mathematically or technically you have to sweep your three remaining matches and hope that uh, one of the teams that uh, have a four-in-one record eh, hindi na rin mahanalo. O kung manalo man eh, isa na lang para magka-chansa ka pa kung sakali man makapasok pa sa semifinals. So Savage is looking to have a perfect finish as Richmark gave us another error from an attack. So it is two to one. Lorenz and Yeron will now be serving. Ball inside, Rosette to the receive and here's Ipulan. Against three blockers, he will score. Of the block here for Richmark. Richmark in the last game, only 25 attack points. Ipulan, coming off a six point game, also had two blocks and five digs. Dead last in terms of offense at only about uh, 25 or 23% hitting rate. Although Colonel Ipulan is a rising star for RMS, now they give up. A point for Savoj. See the replay. Blocker was late. Scores off the block. It's now three serving two. Charlie McBio. The USD Golden Spiker. Half a dozen receives. Oh. Guzman was way under. Guzman with an outside shot. The three points in their last Four loss. Blocking of uh, Savoj. Only three blocks. In their last win, number seven in blocking, RMS, number nine. That is last with only 18 kill blocks heading to this game. 
Over for receive. And straight outside. Oh, Contreras no. was set. They would have started to Savage. This is why I was uh, trying to mention that they are number nine in reception. A 23% receiving rate. 27%. Quite low. It's been a big struggle in the season or in this conference so far for RMS. Bottom two in all categories. Combination. Itulan. Dug up by Senoron. And there's oh, nice. JD Diwa scoring from the middle. Diwa is quite the uh, blossom in the system of coach Sami Akailar. One of the top scorers for this team. So he's been a journeyman in the Spikers third. A lot of them are until they find a home and stay on. As, uh, that legend of a name, Coach Sami, has won so many titles in his uh, checkered history. And has handled the national team multiple times in different decades, by the way. Nice down the line here for Shawi Caritativo. Very explosive. I remember that match versus the Navy Lions. They almost had it. Because Caritativo was at his best. Five-point lead, timeout. Two for the Elite Spikers, seven for the Spin Doctors. Early emergency button here for Rich Mark Sports. While Savoy is just one point away from our first technical timeout. But Rich Mark could not wait any longer. The run is about five straight. Uh, they don't want to be left behind as early as possible here in set one. This comes after uh, able, being able to stay close against BNS. Now we did see that Coach RJ Francisco Charlie isn't Lampayo. present so far in this game. For some we heard a bit aesthetics. from Carlo Almario. I wonder if Ayana, Ayana's report has something to do with that. As now Savoc has a chance to attack. Off speed, good return. Now from the right pin, it's another block. Good Great save right there, the right. Regalo, scramble forced. And wow, Savoj is still able to get it through. In the middle, still doesn't go down. Caritativo, straight to the back. Almario puts it up. Daklis onto Ipulan. Another dig, another chase. Chance ball. And the purple shirts capitalize. Ipulan, cross court. What a dig by Senoron. And here's Carita Tivo with the tip. That's short. That's short. That's still short, tremendous Michael effort Tivo. to the floor defense. Fourth best. And I saw and that also. That match. Uh, the turn into a five-setter versus the Navy Salayons. Hindi mapatayan ng bola. Hindi malusutan. Hindi mabutasan. Hanggat sa umabot. Nang halos tatlong oras yung larong yun. Serving for Richmond. Oh, what a game. Seven to three. RMS looking to build on with some momentum. Tadeo, combination play, rejection. That goes out for RMS. First we have first time technical timeout. Time. Savage Aesthetics, three, Rich March Sports. Conference 2024. This is where power meets passion. Now, Migs and Coach Ronnie, like what you guys mentioned earlier, Libero, Carlo Almario will actually be taking on a new role today alongside Bonjamar Castell. Both will be acting as head coaches as Coach RG Francisco is not present today. Carlo talked about how this may be their biggest challenge this conference. Dahil first time nilang maranasan na maglaro na walang head coach and first time din yata create place for a team. The way he looks at the communication and eagerness of the team will be sustained in this game, the technicalities and familiarity to place will definitely be tested. Back to you guys. Okay, so it's good that RMS has two veterans to try to lead the way for them. 
not only from the sideline, but on the court. Uh, Juti beckons. And you just, just have to uh, make sure that you do what is needed and help out your teammates and your team survive against a highly favored unit in Sabot. What may really feel has the qualities to keep in step with the heavyweights. Tigna mo yung mga players na hindi naglalaro ngayon, Pedrosa, and a lot of other players with sa likuran ng bench. This is what I was talking about earlier. Coach Samia Kailar mixing and matching his combination depending on the team that they will be playing. It's a testament to their depth. And you've been mentioning that long game that they had in one of their previous matches. And as you said, in our attacks, that was why. Even against Iluilo, they were able to keep in step. In fact, that was almost another five-setter for them because they were ahead at 21-18 until Francis Sora happened and uh, heroically saved the fourth set and closed the door on Savoj. Let's see if they can finish strong in our preliminaries. As we see for RMS, Douglas back row, push for Ipulan, and it works. and in, 5 to 11. This guy, Ipulan. Very long. Yeah, he is long, and actually recently he got an invite to be a part of our beach volleyball national team. Why not? So he's going to start there soon. Wish him the best. The leading scorer right now. Number 18 with 43 points heading to this game. 43 points in five games. That's over eight points per match. Still down by seven. So watch on serve. Did you up with the honors? Serving for the spin doctor. 17 since seven years. But this is a new home for him. No problem. Blocked. Coverage is there. That goes out. The important thing is that he's staying here in the spiker's turf. Uh, pretty soon. Once you get to stay for the team for a longer time, chances are that you'll blossom. Kaya mayroon pin kasi talaga yung lipat kaya ng lipat, tapos iba ng iba yung mga teammates and coaches. But hopefully, what, with the re entry of uh, Chris Cross, it will solidify the landscape of teams here in the Spikers Turf as we attract more teams and have more teams stay on for a longer period. That game last Sunday, Coach Ronnie, was a testament to True. what the Spikers Turf can offer. Daphles on to Ipulan. Got a hand and he will score. Ipulan. That's why he's the top scorer for this team. Good for him to have stepped up in the absence of this next server in Curl Rosette in the past couple of games. Rosette did play for Navy a couple of conferences ago. Here's Senorun. Got to go cross. Blocked. One more time for Lawrence. The counter, Ipulan. Nice angle for Meto keeping it alive. Back row for Shawi Caritativo. Dug up. Ipulan again. Met Antonet. Castell tried to drop it to no avail. Oh, nice. And nice. Charlie McFire connecting with Lauren Senoron. We have seen that time and again, not just in beach volleyball, but also in, in, in the volleyball. After this play, it's checked. Look at this. Picking a dump, going for a jump set, and that frees up the attacker on the opposite side. Tricky, but at times, does not work. But most of the time, it does. To be able to beat the blockers at the net. There's that USD connection for Savage. He's still wearing yellow and white after all. Ipulan is blocked. No entries. First kill block, I believe, for Pagpayo and uh, the Speed Doctors. To give themselves uh, the biggest lead right now, which is at 8. After starting out and finishing the first technical timeout at 8 Service. against 3. So 7 4 run after the technical timeout. And now they have a full front row as Taneo serves. Straight to the back. It's Ipulan again. A lot of sets going to him. On to the right. Ball put up. Lee Bahar couldn't score. Counter Ipulan. And that went outside. Is there a touch? Was it in? I thought that that was in. Their space was quite tight. Double block was there. Line defense was there. Pero lumusot ka taneo. The lead is seven. Now a full front Serving line on the other end for RMS. RG Douglas, the setter, setting that ball in. Marmeto receives. Combination. Oh, net touch. Yep. And you don't touch it. And the one who's really vocal, you can hear it, is uh, Almario, of course. As always, just added um, 
communication for him in this game because of what <laughs> Ayana said. Yes. He act like a head coach as well. Armeto, nice to see. Tanea pushes to the left, and there's a drop by Amin Bahar. Straight on to Daklas. Ipulan. And out. over and out. Over shoots to for the block timeout. touch. 16. Will not get it. Seven point lead. Savage. Second Ayana. technical timeout. Ang goat ko po sa volleyball siguro si si Marcus Pero na po ngayon. Uh, complete package po kasi siya. May receive, may block, may service, and may depensa. So sa lahat ng skills na yun, saan ka mas naamay sa kanya? Um, sa spiking po. Consistent po kasi siya. Coach Ronnie did mention the arrival of their idols might serve as inspiration for our Spikers third players. And by the way, awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So Swiss down to after three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Carlo Almario with a receive. Castell will score. Castell with a quick hit. 10 to 17. The atmosphere last weekend at the Field Sports Arena was amazing. We also saw Rich Mark uh, score off the block after giving up an offensive block earlier. Oh, what a response by Savage. Charlie McBio. Playing well also. Has been a constant presence. What about Ray Taneo? Not only uh, doing a good job with his playmaking, but likewise working doubly hard in terms of floor defense. Looking fit, extremely trim for uh, this edition of the Spikers third. I'm sure he's happy to be back with Coach Sammy as, wow, that was a good answer for Guadalupe. Also a beach valuable expert, uh, Ray Taneo, before with the Altas. Duckless trying to increase that efficiency with their offense, but uh, of course connected for defense, reception. Good showdown from the middle in previous sequences. Now an attack from the opposite. No point for Amil Bahar. Opposite on the other end. Ball put up. A chase for Ray. Here's Shawi setting that ball through. Good tie by Eugenio. Back set. That doesn't go down. Senoron with some great effort. Caritativo on to the back. Pulan puts it up. And now it's Guadalupe who will score. A well placed shot from Guadalupe. Towards Sammy Lupe, coach to Sammy's reaction, he was not content with those uh, transition plays that they had. Multiple opportunities. Caritativo was not able to pound that ball deep and strong enough for a possible point. Instead, the lead is trimmed down to six. 18-12. Taneo there you to go. the middle. It's Amil Bahar off that combination. Amil Bahar. He was one of their uh, top playmakers in Hernandez. Wala rin si Imperial ngayon, no? Uh, I saw him a while ago. Maybe he's just not uh, in uniform. I Mr. remember Bay that guy. Hernandez was uh, the primary center. And Imperial was Imperial. Oh, but today it's Taneo. Imperial was such a flashy backup for them. Oh, oh. Now it's Hernandez making a mistake from the service line. There's Christian who also bagged a lot of best setter awards back in his day. Serving. 13 serving 19. Spikers. Guzman sends it in. Hernandez on to Diwa. He couldn't score. That's tight. And it's slow for Guadalupe. But Armes was still able to get it through. Diwa. And down the ball goes. Money goal for Diwa. 20 to 13. 
look at uh, take a look at Lloyd Joseph, uh, JP Bugawan, a rich pool of very good uh, middle blockers that we have here. The guys that you covered last Sunday, I'll ask you more of that, Coach Ronnie, later on, but first we have a timeout. A lot of encouragement from the side of RMS, but let me go back to that crisscross versus signal game. Coach Ronnie, you were there. Can you describe to us your experience? Masaya. <laughs> And uh, that was a five-setter that you almost did not want to end. That was how I felt. As someone was doing the game, but at the same time as a fan. Yeah. Taking a look at the two, the two biggest superstars, the two stars, biggest stars in men's volleyball. Just going at it. And then just lifting the level of play as if it was an international game that we were, were trying to, uh, to bring to the viewers. And everybody played at a very high level simply because you have to increase your quality of play. Even Brian Bagunas went down because of crafts, right? You can see it's like a pain. But it's really hard to go back. Yeah. It added to the drama and flavor of the match. It's really like a story, right? It's like... It's like a film, right? But that's just round one of a possible... Many uh, face-offs pretty soon. That's for sure. If we go back to RMS versus Savage. Rosette was able to score off the block. The touches uh, from uh, Douglas, but when Rosette gets his own, he's able to get a sympathetic point. Beating Diwa off the block point, 14 in the set. Back to Curl Rosette. Meto with a nice receive. Ooh, how about the elevation for Sanaba? From Sanaba. At one instance, he was the number one scorer for Coach Sane Kailar. He was actually their first best player of the game. Yes, and uh, the different location. So that's been different, but uh, we know for a fact that he's a lethal attacker. And he's very young. The narrative for that guy will continue to develop. Dacles on to Rosette, hitting that ball over with anticipation by Hernandez. Sai Sanama. Ball put up by RMS. Rosette through and through. Hernandez spinning set. It's quite low for Taneo. How about that combination? Sanama. And will he score? He will. On the hit out. Bonch Castell wants a challenge. Seems like he won't get it though. 23. And they will not challenge. Substitution. Nine points so away. And two points from closing the set. Nine Three points away from Richmond. Two points away Lagmai. from closing set one. <laughs> With a chance to get their third win. Lagmai now checks in for the first time in this game. He joins the two setters in Taneo and Hernandez. Looking forward to seeing more attacks from one of them. Attack in the middle, and it's Castell targeting Hernandez. Castell is about 6'4, 6'5. 15 to 23. The mold of a JV Somogay side. JV will be an action later on versus Signal HD. Oh, that would be a nice game. Well, as you Brian Bagunas. Oh, yeah. So that could normalize things a bit. But they still have a lot of weapons. Oh, yes. Chao Mandal is there. Right. Matthew is back. He's already a champion. Of course, in the PNPF. And, uh, an MVP as well, and a national Savage, player. Even among the mga teammates, a national team. And remember Amino. that next year we'll be hosting a big, big event. And uh, the pool is going to be announced Ray pretty soon. Daniel. That's right. For the spinning doctors. All right, so we return. This is nine set points for Savoc. Ipulan gets two blockers. Great effort once again by Carita Tivo. Sai Sanama cross-court kill. Wow. And Sanama ends the set. Scored the last three points. Closes the, the door. Sees the deal. 10-point win for set action. One-sided for Sabon. What a start. Sanama came off the bench. Seems like he already was warmed up after all. This guy, he might just be the next prodigy here in the Spikers third. 25-15 in the first set.
बोलते हैं जो भाई Sakaling mapakikinggan Pag-ibig na pala isipan Sa kanta na lang idadaan Parang alam ko na kung bakit hindi makakapagawa <laughs> Yung primary setter <laughs> Iba yung pinagawa niya Nagpapahinga lang ko Nagpapahinga, iniikot ka yung rotation Huwag <laughs> natin ituloy ito, mag-concert na lang tayo dito sa'yo Parang gusto ko sumali <laughs> Shout out to Jet Montemor, by the way, for making that possible. All right. Malupet? Malupet talaga. First set score, 25 to 15 in favor of Savage. Go draw any thoughts. Well, definitely offense of Savage simply too much. Lumaban naman yung uh, rich mark. In fact, ayos yung kanilang floor defense, but blocking has to be better for them. No kill blocks for them. Two for Savage. Plus four in attack points. Too many weapons for Savage. And keeping their error count to uh, only four. Last game, it's a pool. Oh, <laughs> yes, that was the league's best. Against the uh, Philippine Air Force. And uh, no no tapering for them. Uh, just staying uh, with the tunnel vision. Trying to get past a team which has not won and trying to get their third win to still keep its flickering hopes alive of still uh, getting into the final four. To your point, Coach Ronnie, kahit sinong ipasok ni Coach Nami, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, these numbers will tell you Buti ang RMS ay uh, nakapuntos ng uh, labing isa dahil halos sumabot sa 17-19 yan if not for errors by Savoj. Uh, credit still for Rich Mark in trying to uh, stay close. Importante magawa nila na mas matikit at hindi maagang makawala. Sila Karitatibo, sila Taneo at talong lalo itong si Magpayo at Diwa who have been uh, a terror at the middle for Coach Sami Akailar. At some point in set number one, Taneo became a wing spiker. Pumalo, di ba? Pumalo. Hernandez was their setter. Beach volleyball player din niya, champion din niya. Well, we always talk about beach volleyball players as uh, overall good players. Lahat, kaya nilang gawin. Kasi lahat, kailangan nilang gawin. I, I, I saw that of Jude Garcia, Jaron Riquinton, Krong Arbas. Then you also have to factor in Cici Rundina, Joby Gonzaga. Oh, yes. Bernadette Pons upon their re-entry to uh, indoor volleyball. Iba yung tuli ng mga pa. Oh, recently you covered beach volleyball, right? All right. How was that? In New Valley, we miss you. Oh, I missed you guys as well. We were there in Subic, remember? Buitrago and Varga. One silver. One silver, okay. They fought in the finals, but came up short against Oliva of Turkey, I believe. It was a big revelation. But the fact that we went up against international teams and ended up with a silver, was that a big achievement already? Very big, very big. There you go. Back-to-back right. -back competitions in New Valley over the last two weekends. Kaya pala sanay na sanay na sa init si Coach Ronnie Magsano. Oh. In or out, that was out. That was Andy. Andy init. Andy init. In a good way. I think they're going to challenge this. Possible block touch. This is an early challenge for set number two. May umamin ba? Mukhang meron. Meron? Green card? Do we have a fair play card here? Yes, yes, we do. There we go. They want the cash prize. Nakatawa nga yan. Teaches the right value sa mga sa'yo. And it prevents the delays. Oh, totoo. Taking bagay nun. Senyoron sends that ball to Carlo Almario. There's the back set to Ipulan. Great placement. Ratitibo was right there, but look at the net of Ipulan in the hand time as well. Very talented. I'm oblivious to the fact that his team was not won. The first five games continues to play hard, continues to play well. And it has shown the numbers that he has posted so far. Speaking of beach volley, I can't wait for him to continue developing his game in that type of volleyball. Because now there's a service ace for Bonch Castell. Building up the narrative of him going up against his former coach, I asked him. But 
was your favorite moment with Coach Sammy Kailar back in college? And he said it was their comeback win versus EAC in the fifth set as Karit Patit was scores with a hammer. So once upon a time, Monj Castell was down 6-11 to versus EAC, but because of the inspiring words by his head coach, he built that confidence up and got a big-time win on his graduating season. Ipulan is going to turn 21 this July. So brambat, so brambat. There you go. Oh, nice pistol play here for Ipulan. Boom. Loving it. Yes, boom, boom, pow for Ipulan. There's a there's music for that. Here comes the boom. Yes. Here comes the boom for Colonel Ipulan. Because they don't want any more brooms, no more sweep of a loss. <laughs> They've had it. Only one four set loss for them so far in Correct. this conference as Diwa scores. Only one set one. There you go. In five matches, and they want to change and rewrite their fortunes. They have a good start here in set number two. Back and forth between Savoj and Armes. Call up by the Guzman. Oh, connection right there. Return by Diwa Almario to Rosette, and he scores. See this. Clear and clean hit coming from Rosette. And uh, the entry of Rosetti once again to the lineup of Rich Martin has given them a different weapon. Go through the block. Kung dati alam na alam kung sino pupuntahan ngayon, yan naman talaga ang dating pinupuntahan. Oh, yes. 4-3. Combination. Caritativo inside. Caritativo normally, in terms of accuracy and hitting rate, very high. But today, uh, a little quiet so far. Caritativo with two points after... It, it was Magpayo who led the win scoring for Savoj with five for seven points. Good sign for the middle blocker, but talking about Tiritativo's efficiency, he's at 37%, part of the top 10 in the league. Another guy who's a part of the top 10 is Senoron at 45%. I believe number three. Senoron, yeah, he's up there. But uh, wait for the names of Pagunas and Espero eventually um, as they play on. Who's that middle blocker to signal the star? Bugawan? Bugawan. I'm pretty sure he's number one. He's usually number one. Si Jude Garcia, best blocker in Oh, number really? Number one, yes. But in terms of spiking efficiency? Uh, let me double check that. I'm sure you have the numbers right there. <laughs> that oh. would be Jao Mandal. Wow. And Joven de la Vega, back to back. Jude Garcia is number four. So Garcia slid down to number two among the best blockers. Saura is number mm. one. Bugawan's not even in the top ten. Spike percentage? Yeah. He's usually number one. Or do you think he hasn't gotten too much or too many attempts? Different set of players this conference, yeah. remember. A lot of star so, power. But they defeated Chris Cross. And uh, Coach Tex will do what he has to do in order for them to stay on top as the gold standard of the Spikers turf for so many years. Now, later on, Iloilo, the Navigators, will look to make it smart. Iloilo has really signal. built a good roster. Again, the longer you play together, the better you become. In or out. That's in. It touched the line. Barely made it. So, Shavi Caritativo will gladly take that gets ready to serve. Top scorer for Savage in this conference with 52 coming up in this matchup. He's number 11 in the Spikers. He's three points sir. ahead of Senoron. You have Senoron, you have Diwa, you have Magpayo. There's a Namakapa. There's a service ace. Yes. It's a good lineup. We still have a uh, Hero Austria there. Right. Who sometimes plays and sometimes does not. Now five to four. May Pedrosa pa to. Jerome Pedrosa used to play for the fighting balloons. All right. Noy Pedrosa. Yes. Backless to the left. Nice swipe by uh, Rosette. Smart. <laughs> and a smile to boot. <laughs> right. He knew what he was doing all along. So Armes just keeping it tight. Five all. Exactly where they want to be. G.J. Guadalupe serves. Nice receive by Marmeto. That's quite tight for Senoron. Almost worked. Curl Rosette. Nice follow through. Ball up by Shawi. Ray onto Lawrence. He breaks down the wall. The change of pace coming from Senoron. Disguising as if he was going to win down the line suddenly. Whip that last shot. 
the two-month block was not too tight. There was a gap in the double wall. And there was a look from Curl Rosette who wasn't too satisfied with that net defense. Estelle sets up Curl. Good chance now for Savage. They send it to Charlie Mapayo. This is why I was telling you earlier that Haneo is in big form. Very sprightly. His mobility is back. The vertical is also back for Ray Taneo. I love hearing that from you because the first time that I covered him, that was uh, the time when he gained weight. A lot. A lot. That was before. Yeah. Matters is he's back. Senoron couldn't score. Mario put it up. Dakles to curl, dropping that ball. It didn't work. Senoron again. Nice approach. That was long. Ball is out. Six. Looking for a block touch. Savoj will not be given. It's six serving seven now. Sete setting that ball in. Carita Tivo will receive. Slide. That didn't work. Ooh, it's tight. Four touches for Armes. That was Magpayo again scoring. He had five in the first set win. Now we should have our first technical timeout. There you go. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> the coaches are already ready for the huddle. Let's take a break. Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024, where power meets passion. Now, Migs and Coach Ronnie more than motivated after that three-set win are the Savage Spin Doctors. And actually, team manager Sidney Calderon talked to me about their former goal and how it was just merely to develop players and have those players move to bigger teams. But now, after that win, their goal is to be one of the bigger teams that players yearn to be in. Kayanaman, for the next conference, they have plans of recruiting five veteran players to help this young squad with experience and exposure Six. with the help of head coach Sami Akailar, this goal is definitely achievable. Back to you guys. Oh, I love that. Five veteran players. Who can they be for Savage? They had Sapa. Yeah, nga. May listahan na kaya si Ayana. May pati, sir. And that was a nice block by RMS. I thought that the uh, height play para sa Savage. First block here for uh, which mark after having Zero blocks dun sa unang set natin na nakalipas. Sa Boj na may, merong dalawa. Sa kanila nga dalawang puntos. Contra sa RMS sa nakalipas na first set. Two point lead here for Sa Boj. Seven serving nine. Marmeto not the best of receives. Saneo went down. And here's the counter. To the left. Ipulan cross court ball. Ooh, that hit one of our lights. Nanamunabasag. I wonder how much that costs. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. It's all good. Oh, that's a lot. Coach Ronnie would know. <laughs> You've been a tournament director before. It's now eight serving nine. It's in for Douglas. A fire oh, pushes. Better. No look. Uh, better first ball here. They lost track of that uh, or track of that three point eight earlier. Oh, but Coach Tammy isn't too happy about it. Said, what can somebody add? Is there what that means in a bit? Anyway, let's move on. Lawrence and Jeron. That's in the house. Carlo and Mario, I think they're going to get up. By the way, this guy was a former best libero back in his college days in UE. Good to have him back. <laughs> Animated as always. 
I wonder if he will actually transition into becoming a coach in the future. Why not? Why not? As Mopaya scores again. One of the best scoring uh, matches for uh, Charlie Mopaya. Eight points for Magbayo, five in the first set. Three here in set number two. In their last match alone, Magbayo delivered uh, 11 on a 10 of 16 clip. He was the second leading scorer behind Doris Senoron. With the loop from the middle, no conversion. Counter, Taneo pushes to the left. Karatatibo, what a play by Savage. Karatatibo in their last game, I believe only seven points. We'll double check this, yes. But uh, had 13 excellent receptions and also had six things. A round performance for Carita Tito. That's what you would like, a two-way player. The makings of a superstar. Pagpayo, ball put up. It's the Guzman blocked. Payong na payong. A solid block from Well read. More point days. The red flag here for Rich Martin, they call a timeout. It's a collective effort for RMS in terms of uh, voices in their huddle because Coach RJ Francisco is out for today. But this is a nice program. 3B started oh, from Marikina as a club team. Yes. Played from time to time. Some of, the, some of these guys actually still have day jobs. They don't get to train as much. But they're here. They're here. And that is what counts. Well, baby steps. Sabuj did also start with baby steps. And here they are today. Mario, the nice receipt. Ipulan going cross. Well put up by Amin Bahar. Taneo, caritativo, oh, nice. great coverage by Senoron. Dacles now onto the Guzman. Rejected. Good coverage by Carlo. And it's Ipulan who gets the point off the block. Point after the timeout. But then again, it was all about blocking that was uh, spe specific in terms of something that they need to do. Sabayan yo, more effort. Because, unang una, pinagatasan yung gitna. Ng paulit -ulit itong si Taneo. But Ipulan has been uh, so good in today's match. Gives up the three point, and now they're down by, by four points once more. That has to hurt. If you're rich, Mark, you know that your opponents are playing clean. They've been playing clean in the last couple of games. Only four errors in the first set, just ten in the last. So, Apat, so 14 errors in the last four sets. There you go. What about that offhand strike coming from Rosette? If it, walang problema. It's a veteran move from him, outsmarting the defense. Deceiving the blockers, and that was uh, more important. Now we have a sub. James Balisi checks in. He did come off the bench in all three sets versus VNS. Alam mo kung saan ako natawa dun sa laban ng Chris Ross at ng Sainan. Hindi lang dun sa laro nila. Yung nakapaglaro yung mga players sa ganong kalaking venue na napuno ng tao. Actually, Signal had magic bunots, right? Sina Guaza. Guaza. Silang. Kalado. Kalado. And they finished the game. Uh, Guaza was taken out. Bugawan finished the game. Okay. But, still, but Guaza was uh, a key figure in that fight back for them to stay alive before Brian Bagunas was able to re-enter. Kaya yung drama, grabe eh. Oh, oh. And in terms of progress, if you would individualize it, Nas Guaza has a great story. Correct. Developed by Iloilo, now he's part of Signal HD and contributing at that. And there are those called destination teams. Definitely Signal is, is way up there. Uh, but for Iluilu and Savoj, once they start winning consistently, they will, they will also become destination Now we have a second technical timeout off of that service ace by Savoj.
Arena Plus, Astix Sports. It is now 16, serving 11. Shall we go to Tivo? Off of the service ace. We'll send that ball outside. Ball is long, three points. It happens a lot. Especially after a timeout. Service errors, Coach Ronnie. Ah, but for a watch, that uh, means that there are errors nila on the service line. Back row. Well put up by RMS. Backless pushes to the left. Nice hit. Sharp angle for Rosette. Key figure today for Richmark. Definitely only one point uh, in the initial set. One point for Rosette. We'll check that. Just to be sure. Now, now with the five. nice receive. Sanama oh, drops wow. that ball Sanama. down. You love to see him play. You love to see him play if you watch him up close. Look at the vertical once again. There you go. Over and above the blockers. Saka, yung takeoff niya. Dalawang pa eh. Parang pogo stick. Parang pogo stick. We did start this conference with a narrative for him. Sai Sanama. Much like Jay Disquitado, he still could be recruited by a college team. He hasn't graduated as of yet. So who knows? We've seen a lot from the PNBF, from the Spikers turf. Suddenly, we're playing the UAP. Atahano, Atahano, Lopez, Indense. DNS pa lang, ang dami na. Oh, of course, Jade is the biggest name there. Sanama, wow! <laughs> what was that? What about Young Mendoza? Oh, with the sun. Right. Uh, we did see a very attentive play from Sai Sanama, <laughs> but he pushed that ball up. No, he's called for lifting. Is it called lifting, Coach Ronnie? Oh, definitely. Double contact. Double contact. Oh, 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 oh. What a way to get some redemption for Sai Sanama. What about Ineo? Giving him another chance. Great mindset by the center. Good first ball. And then the misdirection by Magpayo. My oh my. 18-15. Armes is just there. Here's the receive. Backless slide. Still timed perfectly by Magpayo. And here's the counter. Sanama again. Ball put up. Now it's Ipulan straight to the back. Oops, it's a push by Magpayo. Dakles on to Vonch. What a rally. Great floor defense. Dakles, back row. Wow. And that goes out back off of Great Taneo. Only Rosette can deliver that for Richmark. Rosette, after a long, long absence, uh, has not lost a step. Six points already for Rosette, five here in the second set. That's five of the 16. Nearly 33% of their total output here in set number two. Parang nag warm up ng first set. Galing eh. Oh, I know, let Bihira sumablay. 18 16. Over is seen. Scramble force. Nice battle at the middle. Bonchka still prevails. That's been a big presence, really. In the middle. In spite of the fact that Magpayo and uh, Diho have, have scored earlier in that spot. Castell has been there all along, omnipresent. Tomayo 40, this is just down to one. Coach Sammy might have mixed feelings about Bonch Castell in this game. He did give me good words about him before this one. As that was a, an over-receive. And uh, Miski on the other end. Coach Sammy Akailar told me that the best part of having Bonch Castell play for you is the fact that you can expect discipline, discipline in your hours of practice. And then outside of practice, you know that this guy is well behaved. He will stay in the dorm, he will just be there, rest up, and be ready for your next practice. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> the service error. Service error number five or six. So most of the errors have come from that line. Service line. Monge Castell, serving. Chance of tie. Spikers. Former Altas. Ooh! Another Most service one. error. For Savage. That could be quite risky. Yeah, I'm sure for them, they played for the NCAA team of the Altas in basketball. Yes, oh, so <laughs> sign yang yet. It's a build. It's a build. Also quite hefty. Oh. He's what? You mentioned 6'4? Six, 6'5, six, six, six. So that could be a big man. Center pa. As there's an attack in the middle, but the loop will score. His own version. Good first ball. Reception has been a problem for them all conference long. Dead last. 
in a lot of categories, but uh, definitely playing well here in set number two. Now they have another chance to tie. Ipulan with the serve. Inside, Karatatipo receives. One-handed set, and that drops for Jake, or no, J.D. Diwa. 21 to 19. Nice play by Teneo. He's been activating his middle blockers in this matchup, mostly Charlie McFayo. Nassim Amil Bahar serves that ball. Nice approach, whistle blown. Somebody touched the net. It's Shawi. Just like that. RMS still in the hunt, taking the set. That's a good development for them. Let's see how uh, Saboj reacts. Seemingly, I love when it's relaxed. But it's true, it's a rich mark. Can they keep on going? Diwa. Able to answer back. 22 to 20. Good pass leading to that play. Jokataneo did not even have to move. Back to a two point advantage. Here's Shawi Karitatibo. He's gotten some aces here and there. And some service errors as well. Oh, Irish Kairiwar. That That's is it. Once again. Back to a one point lead. Remember, RMS only has one. One set in this conference. So far. So close. Inside for Guadalupe, Marmeta receives. Diwa across. That spot has been a problem spot defensively. Castell has to be more active and try to uh, contain Diwa and Magpayo. We both have hurt them. Especially here, late in set number two. Now Magpayo has returned, G Diwa, JD Diwa has served. And here's Rosette. One hand, ball put up by JD. And Bahar sets up Sanama. Sanama? That was the elevation, but shot. that ball went outside. They will challenge this. First time I say coach, Sami Afrovic. He was the first guy ready for a challenge. Ball in, ball out. Rosette has erupted for challenge seven second set points. That's seven of the 21. Ball out. Savage is 33.33% uh, 33 contribution stays here for Rosette. 23-31. This is a big challenge. Could be three set points. We're back to a one-point deficit for RMS. And you see the players of Savage. So it's Senoron who is the outside spiker now at the bench, sitting comfortably, actually standing comfortably. He's laughing off with some of his teammates. Sai Sanama has been performing off that 3x3 three three box. This is our first game for today. It will be followed by the Signal HD Spikers taking on Iloilo. Was that in? That's in it again. was in! Another good call here for uh, Savoj. Barely made it, Coach Sami. After ball multiple decades of coaching for volleyball. But from where we are, I thought that that ball was way out. And there's oh, a really? timeout called by well, but Those cameras, they're and always right. Oh, this is the one. Seems like we have a timeout. Try natin. Ha? 21 na tayo. Try lang natin. Dumikit pa tayo. Or malay nyo makuha natin momentum. Ha? Kumuha lang tayo ng momentum. Ha? Malay nyo makuha 24 yan. Subok tayo nga. Subok tayo. Kaya pa yan. Subok. Subok. Ayun yan. Try natin mag-juice. Ha? Let's go. Let's go. Tapang na. Tapang na. Go. Let's go. Animers. There you go. Not much technicality. All motivation from Richmark Sports. And they give us one last push. If you're JD Diwa and the rest of Savoj, you have a different idea. Let's see, the Spin Doctors wins. Both in straight sets. Serving is number 19. That could be a good formula for them in, in this game. Three set points. JD Diwa inside. Backless chooses the left. Rosette is blocked. And what a Magpayo. rejection. I think Magpayo is close to double figures. And uh, the Magpayo impact or effect continues for Saboj. It was tough. It was close. Nothing was easy in this set for Saboj. But winning the last few points and that key point was the challenge that they won. Rosette has been uh, impeccable. Seamless touch denied in that last shot and it will be a two-set advantage for Saboj.
you belong with me. Teachers, Captain, and I'm on a bleacher. Nang may love ako sa iyo, kalakoy pag-ibig mo ay tunay pero hindi nagtagal lumabas din ang tunay na kulay. Stupid love. Stupid love. It's a body air. Love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sigurado ako ng segment producer noon ay si Ron Enriquez. Big shout out to you, Ron. Bilang isang Swifty, Maki Heradura was his editor. So thank you guys for your service here in the Spikers Turf. We have great bits, amazing bits to entertain us during our conference. But speaking of entertainment, we've been entertained as well by these players. See some highlights in set. Number two, Charlie McPayo now has nine points to lead the way in this game. Tied with JD Diwa, so it really is the middle blocker connection for Ray Taneo proving to be very effective in this matchup. How about Sai Sanaba coming off the bench? Six points as well to his name. Which Ronnie did mention at the start of this conference, he was their leading scorer. Now we get to see some statistics, attacks, a plus four for the spin doctors. They actually have the advantage as well on blocking and serving, although they committed three more errors. It's still good. The problem though for these errors is the service for Savos. Kotroni, you did mention more errors have come from the service line. Correct. And that uh, enabled the team of uh, Richmark to uh, inch close, erase a four-point deficit, and just be behind by one, especially in the last few points. However, the challenge call was huge for Savoj and uh, Magpayo and Diwa. Once again, they, they, uh, they were able to join forces to deliver much of end points or end set points for Savoj. What about Taneo's playmaking today? Even Douglas. Both players in double digits, we talk about excellent sets. So now we have set number three. This is Mix Gomez alongside Coach Ronnie Maxano and Ayala Perna. Spalled out off of the block. That point belongs to Savoc. They have a new guy. Antonio. Renzel Antonio. Right, who played uh, two sets off the bench, scored two points against the uh, Philippine Air Force. It's good to have him here. Taneo serves that ball in, challenging the defense of Carlo Almario. A chance for Savoj. And on Taneo, on to Magpayo. Couldn't get into double figures as of yet. Curl Rosette off speed. <laughs> Again, outsmarting the defense of Savoj. Good performance for Richmark in this match, in spite of the fact that they have lost the first two sets. Hindi umakayaw. Matikit sa lahat, yung Rosette factor, malaking bagay. We did see the point disparity from the first set to the second set. Malayo, One diba? to seven. Oh, Antonio getting his first point. One from the opposite, the other. From the left, pangalawa na yan. Siya rin yung pumuntos kanina. Oh, pangalawa. Oh, there you go. Sa pagbubukas ng pangalawang set. That's off the double block. He was already celebrating as soon as he hit the ball. <laughs> oh, we heard it. Yeah. Sharp serve. Dakles pushes to the left. De Guzman challenging two blockers. Is there a net touch? Yes, yes there was. We're tied at two. It's really cool here inside. We're cold here inside the venue. Thank God. Hopefully, <laughs> it's hot outside. The heat index is uh, going down a bit. Oh, nice approach. Sai Sanama. Bueno palang. Alam mo naman yun. That is not the heat index. That is the approach of Sai Sanama. Magalit na galit yung dating. Actually, Coach Ronnie, if I may, I want to ask you the question. In terms of his verticality, is it near the vertical reach of the Espeos and the Bagunases? Probably not yet. Wala pa. But he'll get there. He'll Kasi get there. Kasi gifted din eh. Mata pa naman. Si Brian lalo lumakas eh. Oo nga. Kahit na nagawin mo, may cramps na. Parang human rocket nag eh. <laughs> Alam mo, magaling naman siya dati bago siya umalis. Eh. Pero ngayon, ibang klase. Pati depensa, ang galing. The reason why he's called the bazooka. Sanaba, back to back champion. Back to back champion abroad. Tapos MVP pa, number one scorer. Mahusay talaga. Over received. 
of a rich code against uh, Lachlis. Good move on the part of Sabor. Very patient. Allowing that ball to cross. Three point run for a three point lead. Set number three. Up two sets to none. Looking for the third win. That's against three losses for the Spin Doctors. Regalo. Yan ang overreach. Kanina inantay nila. And Antonio, it seems like celebrating early is his thing. Problem is, he did not get the point. Let him watch it. Let him watch it. But they scored two of the first five points. Two of three, no problem. Ball up. Taneo. Mabawi. Ooh, what a dig by Daklas. It's the Guzman rejected, but that's soft block straight outside. Four. Castel doing a good job. Setting up that last point. Down three now, only behind by one. So it's Curl Rosette will now take his third at the service line. That's the comeback player for Rich Mark Sports. Nine attack points for him so far. Taneo on to JD Diwa. Connection. Six, seven, four. Taneo has done an outstanding, outstanding job here today. Double check that in an excellent test in Taneo. Kanina, dose at rese na yan eh. Certainly is making his case for best player. 15. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. In three sets. It's practically two and a fourth of a set. Castell met at the net. What about Diwa? Well, these two can meet eye to eye at top. So, lucky nila pareho, no? So, Diwa is definitely the quicker player. Quick to rise. 10 for Diwa. 11 points for Diwa. Conference high, probably. Likely. It's Magpayo and Diwa just going toe to toe in terms of scoring. But they are teammates. Oh, no chase there from the nail. Coverage was not there. Soft hit. Eating the blockers. Duckless able to match up against Taneo, really, with his playmaking. In their last game, parang five excellences lang itong si Duckless. Tama. Tama, out of 53. Buzzer sounded. What's that about? Wrong rotation. Calling Richmark Sports. He's got the perk. So, who should adjust? Server should be number 18. They don't know about it, so it's allowed the second referee to clear things up. De Guzman and Castell. First technical timeout. Eight. So we do have the first technical timeout. Yeah, you can sort it out and make sure that uh, you're in the right spot. We'll take a break. Spikers Open Conference 2024. This is where power meets passion. Now, Mix and Coach Ronnie, team manager Ben John B. Benamer, 3B in short, is here today to take place as acting head coach for Rich Mark. And like what you said, Mix, nothing technical, more on motivational ang attack ni 3B in every huddle. Because he believes that doing this puts less pressure on the team and he wants them to just relax and learn today. Playing without a head coach is a great way to see what they need to sustain, what they need to, or what they lack. Kaya naman for this game, according to 3B, there is zero pressure let's use this as a learning curve you know that actually allows us to thank those people at the bench of richmark sports because of their support they're able to build this team that started as a club team in marikina now they're in the spikers turf 
and also allowing these players to uh, have the avenue to play mm -hmm. in the in this league, in the pro league. Oh, nice. Estelle. Still alive. It's Shawi Caritativo. Wow, what an athletic play. A decisive run here early. In the first 15 points. So ball just doubled up. Iwa once again working extremely well. And then there's Antonio Force who scored two of the first three points. At saka hindi nang gagaling sa errors eh. Nang gagaling sa atake talaga. 15 attack points per set. 16 attack points second set. That's a lot in two sets. Let's see how many they can do in set three. Wow, a return to favor for Savage. And... <laughs> oh, I thought... Yeah, because uh, Castell was behind Daklis. Daklis was moving towards the net. I saw that over the weekend a lot in uh, the Thai, that elite competition in New Valley. Jump sets big lang Pepeke. Kala mo papaduin ni Bibigay sa kapit. Time out for Rich Mark. Brace yourselves as athletes and sports lovers have no holds barred conversations with Papa Colon himself, Sean Ildefonso. Watch Sean, Sean Time exclusive on Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now. Isayan sa mga pinaka mahukulit na host na ating nakilala sa Filipinas. Shout out to you, Sean. Congratulations for having a new show. And here's Melanies on his first appearance as a chase. Nice, nice, nice. Off the hand of Austria. Another tall hitter. Six to eleven. And for Rich Mark. Difficult angle taken. Kim Melanies came off the bench in the previous game. Two sets and scored a point. Oh, here's Hero Austria. Good to have him here. Melanias quite tight. There's a push. Taneo. Oh, 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 what a read. Definitely, Austria is not too late. Too late the hero. Because they're not too late. But you know what I'm going to do here against the Navy Lions. I know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to win the course. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Sorry, I'm going to win the hero. Yes. Biglang nag-iba yung Kasi laro. hindi ginagamit ni Coach oh. Hero eh. Nag-iba yung laro. Umabol sila bigla. Well, a couple of conferences ago, Hero Austria was a star. An absolute star in the spike. He's going to be a major star here eventually. Very talented. Attack from the middle. And Pazanupe was able to get a point. Now Martin, check in. That's Mark Martin. For Milanes. Service specialist. Seven serving twelve. Mark Dominic Martin. Mark serving also made an appearance in the third set fighters. in this game. Meto with the receive. Here's Hero Austria outside. Ball is out. Eight to twelve. They challenge. <laughs> this is there's this there's challenge, challenge again. So far, two out of two for Coach Sammy. So ball in, ball out. Ball in, ball out. Ball challenge has barely one. made it, ball in, but uh, ball it's been making the line, or reaching the line. And actually, Tane was quite confident about it. He did have an angle. There was a critical one, the challenge that they won in the previous uh, set. You say they, I think, 22 21, eh, right? Like in 23 21. That was uh, some of the point set point. What are the players doing? <laughs> doing that challenge signal. Malaki lang yung TV kasi LED ang nakita nila dito sa Inari Sports Arena. We're seeing more people inside the venue enjoying the action. Okay. Still have, we still have time to come join us for the second match. This time it's out. Two out of three. That's 66%. But Balls that's what it is. The batting the challenge There's Coach Sammy Akailar. Point and serve. Go to you know, Richmark Sports. Usually, now at eight to twenty. Arms crossed. Oh, you know what it is. Cross arm. Wala nang iba. 
Austria receives. He will attack once again down, down the down. line this time. Cross court miss. 13. Line shots. Eight. <laughs> Look at the airspace that he took. It was tight. But nonetheless, Austria shows, shows us why he's going to be one of the top players pretty soon here in the Spikers' turf. 13 8. Short serve. And. Ooh, that goes through. Austria. Taneo. Back to hero. Cross score. That's in. Cross score kill. Austria. 14. Took a little uh, time compared to the uh, possible ace. But three seconds later, Austria reappears. And scores once more. Two straight for a six point lead. And of Papawi sa kanya ni Ray Taneo will now take a breather. Hernandez will return. This time, hindi sila magsasabay. Sila magpapalitan. My apologies to Kenneth Hernandez. I called him Christian a while ago. I was a different player. Basketball naman yun. So ito, si Kenneth Volleyball yan. John Hernandez, designated yeah. game captain Even JD Diwa, I, I already talked about him. Service, so, Hernandez. About calling him Jake. Kasi may basketball din sa na Jake naman ang pangalan. Is that a block? A single block. A stretch. Block from Austria, 15 to 8. Service, Hernandez. Nakita ni Hiro Austria na naglilista na si Coach Johnny ng best player. Gusto niyang humabol. <laughs> In or out? Outside shot, Rosetta. Second technical timeout, 16. So now, we have the second technical timeout, 16 to 8. Richmond Sports. Crushers. 6 p.m. Mavericks will face the VNS. Nasty Griffins. That's on Friday, April 19, here at the Inares Sports Arena. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs Captain, starting John April 20 Hernandez. on NBA TV Philippines. For Once more, it's Philippines Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on Signal. On the well, the play Boxing tournament scores. did start already. Nine so we're looking to forward 16. to those top eight teams from the East and the West. And speaking of playoffs, we are also nearing the semifinals of the Spikers' third. So after this, last two games na lang, ang Sabodge and Richmark Sports. They're trying to make the most out of their journey in this conference. Hernandez pushes to the left, and off Antonio, the block is a point down. for the ever so animated Renzel Antonio. Euro 17 to 9, Euro Austria. Austria. He's been big time so far in this set. Yes, and definitely uh, with the minimal floor time that was given to him, extremely productive. A little uh, blimp on that service error, but it happens. If you want to play by the numbers, his effectivity is still oh, very high. Yes. Oh, service error on the other end. For some large aesthetics. Charlie McBain. Sure, Coach RJ Francisco is now watching out there. We'll be reviewing the tape. Coach RJ, wherever you may be, I wish you the best. And we hope that you can return in the next game of RMS. RMS has Charlie McPayo just got a certain ace. And this is already uh, standing on slippery slope. Sabuj going for the juggler. Trying to win another three-setter. Get their third win in six games and stay at that spot. Just one rung lower 
to the fourth best team with two more games remaining. Good chance here for Savage. Oops, miscue. They're able to recover. Antonio with a sharp hit. Scramble. Chance ball given up. Austria. Hernandez recalculates. Combination play. That doesn't work. And a late dive Antonio. for Carlo and Mario. I cannot believe it. <laughs> he was looking for a teammate to get to that ball. He should have got it to it. Quite tricky. 20 to 10. How about the separation in the third set? Ball up by Martin. And here's the Guzman. Let that the net. That goes back to RMS. A block point for Kalayag. All right. That's, it's a matter of time before the inevitable happens here. Richmark was at its best, at its best in set two. But they could have almost won, but they are now 11 points down here in the third set. Twenty-one to ten. Can we see a final run from Richmark Sports? Substitution, Richmark Sports. Looking for a seamless run and a uh, big fight back late here in the set because they're also behind by two sets and down by 11 here in the third set. Against a team which has uh, been playing relaxed. Has brought in uh, a lot in their uh, rotation this afternoon. 21 to 10. Oh, that scraped the net. Papasok pa rin Oh, Castell rejected. Good net defense by Kalaya. Oh, and there you there? go, it's another block. Well, well, then stepped over a teammate. Wow. 22. Wow. Who is Martin Dunn? I had to go. Oh, man. Nana Pasolisha. Lampo Village. The cutting in. <laughs> so we're back with Charlie Magpayo. That's way long. That goes long. Outside. And Rich Last second, he could have dropped in. Substitution. We have a substitution. Minus. Now check in. 15 out. Four. Nice girl percentage. Good to have our players getting some exposure. Rafi Lanes. 11 20 for Richmark Sports. Well up a hero. Hernandez on to Kalaya. the middle. Kalayak scores. Matter of time again. Two points away, 12 points clear for a three-set win in the match that is uh, barely 80 minutes old. That was fast. Because the second set was quite long. But uh, the first and the third. Itong mabilis. Yung first and the third. Ay, hindi rin. Ito lang talaga. Ray Taneo is back, by the way. 23 11. Yeah, that's inside for Antonio. Spin Doctor is now at match. What was that about? That celebration. Celebration by yeah. Fitch Nabato oh, Kachasa oh. shoulder. Oh. Service. <laughs> Antonio. Celebration, yeah. 24 11. 13 match points. Inside. It's Martin. That's low. And that's it for this that match. Cross and the Very quick to set number three. Right here, Sam. And the match. Shadow Mabigat yung uh, nakuha yung set two. Misa nakakawala talaga ng low because they fought hard. Sets one and two, they tried. Especially set number two. But eventually will fall short here in three straight sets. So another three straight loss for Rich Martin. Played one of their best sets throughout the conference. Which is the second set na nakalipas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations to Savage Aesthetics Spin Doctors. Now at 8500 in terms of their team standing back to wrap this game up even more.
Bikers Turf Open Conference 2024, where power meets passion. And that concludes our first game for today's doubleheader. The Savage Spin Doctors win in three sets going against Richmark. Now, of course, kasama ko ngayon ang best player of the game. We have Ray Taneo. Congratulations, Ray. Two points and 17 excellent sets. Congratulations, Ray. Now, of course, Ray, kitang-kita naman that in every game, nag improve talaga yung laro ng Savage. And of course, as a setter, ikaw yung core ng team. So, I guess as a setter, um, how will you sustain yung progress ng improvement ng team ninyo and everything? Uh, siguro po, uh, mag start lahat sa training. Kaya, uh, after sa mga previous game namin, pagbabalik kami ng training, uh, grabe yung focus na, na ginagawa namin. Kaya, siguro, uh, yung game ng Savage is uh, pataas siya ng pataas. Kaya, uh, yun lang Alright, Ray. So, of course, um, kwenta sa akin ni Coach Sammy earlier that every game meron kayong aspect na gusto niyong i-develop. And for today's game, mental toughness daw yun. So, para sa iyo ba, kamusta yung mental toughness ng team ninyo going against Richmark? Siguro, as today's game po, uh, ma naging okay siya kasi yung complacency na sinasabi ni Coach, uh, hindi niya po nakita. Uh, binabati ko nga pa na si Ma'am Sydney uh, sa Team Savage Family. Maraming maraming salamat sa support. Uh, sana po wag po kayong magsawa. Thank you so much, Ray. Once again, congratulations. Back to you, Mixing Coach Ronnie. Thank you, Ayana. So, Ray Taneo, excellent in this game. A lot of great sets. And reach that number, Coach Ronnie, in three sets. In three That's sets. high. In three sets. And, uh... Nice to see Ray Taneo once again uh, showing us why he is going to be one of the top playmakers for uh, the Spikers turf sooner than soon. Some highlights that will tell you that it was really one-sided in the previous set. Attack points of RMS was down to 7 first time in 3 sets that, that's, that was below 10. In fact, halos nagtabla yung error count nila at yung attack points and that does not speak well or speaks speak well doon sa nakalipas na offense nila. And the blocking of Savoj was uh, outstanding with four kill blocks in the third and final set. All in all, that third set was the most impressive set for Savoj to taking care of business and deflating the aspiration of RMS to push this match into a possible fourth set. Would you like to give more shout-outs, some good uh, impressive players from Savoj? Oh, a lot. Diwa, Magpayo, of course, uh, Caritativo. At uh, yung paborito mo na high jumper. Sanama. <laughs> Siyempre. Oh, and of course, the presence of Austria and Antonio. All in all, was a collective effort. And that's what you like. Uh, a game that you're supposed to win. Everybody delivered. At sabi nga ni Ray Taneo, no complacency. Yes. Yun ang kadalasan nakalagay sa game board ng mga coach bago magsimula ang laban. Take care of business. Respect the other team. Do what it takes to be able to stay alive. Dito sa kanilang habol para sa semifinals. There you have it. Thank you, Coach Ronnie Bugsano. Thanks, Mix. Up next, we have the Signal HD Spikers fresh off of winning against Chris Cross. They will take on Ilo Ilo, the Navigators, two of our top four teams in the Spikers Turf Open Conference. For Anna Perles and Coach Ronnie Bugsano, my name is Mix Gomez, and we have more where power beats passion.